Welcome to Builds with Blocks, a show centered around the micro action figures and brick-based construction sets of the Halo universe. I'm your host, Gabe Clem, and today I'm joined by my colleagues, Colin Perkins. How's it going? And Thomas Fishenden. Oh, I like it. That's Thanks. a beauty. Totally hit my microphone then, <laughs> so I lifted it up, but we're <laughs> going to go with it. <laughs> Today, the gentlemen have graciously allowed me to take the reins since my main job has been working with these macro action figures for a little over seven years. And this is an episode I'm really, really excited to discuss with everyone. Uh, to me, part of what makes the Halo line from Mega stand out from all of their others, besides all of their very, very nice vehicles and builds, are the micro action figures that are included in every one of their sets. From fan favorite named characters, classic multiplayer Spartans, Marines, or almost any of the enemy factions imaginable, there's more than likely a figure for you to find and enjoy. Over the years, Mega has given us literally thousands of these wonderful micro action figures that have evolved over time from the original ball jointed figures from the earlier lines to the more current super articulated series that have removable armor or customizable weapons. Today we'll be taking some time to sit and discuss which of those figures we believe any figure fan would like to have in their collection. Before we dive into the main topic of the show, however, why don't we take a trip around the group and talk about what everybody's been into, what we've been building, and what projects we've been working on. So, Tom, I'll pass it to you. Fill us in. How have you been? Been all right, yeah. Um, when was the last time we did a build to a box? <laughs> Why? <laughs> I think it was before Infinite dropped. Yeah. Um, so yeah. I've been playing a lot of Halo Infinite. I think it was before Jurassic World Evolution 2 came out. Um, and I got some press access to that. So I've been playing a lot of that as well. Um, and I've built a couple of mocks that I've not uploaded videos on yet. So oh, yeah. done a few things. Had a couple of things going on. Sweet. Yeah. Colin, what about you? Um, I, I built the Razorback. That was pretty good. Uh, I still need it. Pretty good. Um, it was weird though, because like, when you open the box, and, and, and do you remember, like, I think what there's another Warthog. It's, um, I think it's our favorite Warthog, which is that one again with the little, like, Promethean stand in the middle. Um, anyway, it, you open the box, it's like a bigger box, and you get like these giant plastic bags. And there's just not many pieces in each bag, so I'm like, what's yeah. going on? Oh. It's like there's like not many pieces in here, um, so I wasn't sure about the build just from that initial reaction, yeah. Or, or yeah, initial um, sure. opening of the box. But then once you start putting it together, it, it feels a little more intricate than the Warthog Rally. Uh, it's yeah. different, it, you know, the, the su suspension is the same, but everything else is a little bit different. Um, so I'm really happy with it. Now that I've, I've actually played with the Razorback and driven it around in Halo Infinite, which is a, a cool okay. experience. I was going to mention Mega, like when you look at the Mega Constructs Razorback to the one that's in game, it's just like the chopper. Like those things are one to one. They did yeah. an amazing job with yeah. that build. Yep. Yeah. I, I really like it. I had a little issues with my uh, windshield not clicking in there. Right. Um, but mm -hmm. other than that, like everything felt really good. I really like the back, how you has this, where you put those power seeds. It like has that, con you know, yeah. considered in the back. So yeah, overall, really happy with that. And I got the figures right here. It's kind of been putting those together. So here's my Kelly and I got everybody else. Um, and then other than that, uh, I've been organizing my office a little bit. If you guys can't see it, but it was a giant mess over here in the corner from all of the, uh, what, what did we rank? The Halo 5 sets, I think. So I had all those. I was going to say, like, every, time we, every time we record, you'd always reach down and grab something. I was like, how does he have all that stuff just there? <laughs> like, I, So those have just been sitting in my office forever. And now I've at least, I've at least removed them from my office. So I still need to like, they're just sitting uh, downstairs by the front door now. Pretty much, yeah. They're just going to be in the army. <laughs> so, um, yeah, I'm trying to get a little more organized. Um, but, yeah, I'm um, excited to have this conversation because I'm not the figure guy. You guys are more the figure guy. Obviously, Gabe is. But you guys have more um, insight into that sort of thing. Um, I have my favorites mainly based off characters and things like that. But um, this will be a, a fun conversation for me to, to learn as much as uh, hopefully the viewers do as well. I'm definitely excited. Oh, oh I've yeah, been doing a lot. <laughs> I've been doing a lot since we, uh, since we, well, since I was last on the show. I haven't been here for a couple episodes. I know it's been, it's been you and Tom and you and Matt and all kinds of. I haven't been here for a little bit. Um, Mega specifically uh, has been really slow. I mean, I've been making custom figures, but like 
none of the I haven't seen a Razorback in stores. Um, I, th- I, I think really they're in Walmart. I haven't seen them at Target yet. I might have to pop in the Walmart then. I, I haven't been shopping in in a couple weeks. Um, all right. Well, now that we've gone around the table, I think we should dive into the into the main topic of best to us the best Mega Constructs Halo figures. Yeah. So can, so can they... I just preface it really quickly? Best, because again, you guys are the figure guys. So, and best mm-hmm. is subjective, right? Very so subjective. I trust your guys' opinion more than I trust my opinion. Because <laughs> I'll be like, oh, oh, there is painting there. Okay. Like, I won't even notice a lot of stuff that <laughs> you guys notice. Like, yeah, oh, that's neat. Um, so uh, a lot of mine, and maybe I jump on the gun here, but a lot of mine are going to be like, my favorite character that also has a mega figure. <laughs> a mega figure. That's, that's, that's well totally fine. Yeah. The way uh, the way that I kind of wanted to set it up was that we would each just have five figures that we really really enjoy. So, like Colin said, best is very subjective. I mean, they're not must-haves, but certainly but... figures that I think you would like to have in your collection if you're into that sort of thing. You What's up? watching right now can let us know what your top five Mega Constructs figures would be in the comments down below, and we would love Absolutely. to read them. Okay. Yep, we read, we check those, and we comment on them. So that would be, be a fun conversation to have. Yeah, absolutely. So I guess we'll do it going one at a time, listing out yeah. each of our five. So I will give it to you, Colin, since okay. you've now excited me so much, <laughs> and I want to hear your your first pick. What it, what's one of your favorite figures? So, so I'm going to ask you real quick: Are you guys going to go top to bottom, bottom to top? Are you going to end with your favorite figure? I don't, oh, I don't have I, I have a rank to the five. You just kind of do in a pool. Yeah. I just okay. grabbed five and went, yeah, that's cool. cool. All right. Well, I'm going to I'm gonna grab one then. I'll grab a weird one. I'll grab okay. the Promethean uh, Battle Wagon. Cool. The Promethean Ooh. Knight. Like, that thing is Love it. pretty cool, right? Um, yeah. yeah. I do like, you know, Prometheans are weird in Halo, right? Some people aren't fans. Some people are. The fact that they exist, I think, is great um, in Halo. And then the fact yeah. that they the Mega versions exist. There's a decent amount of them. Not a ton, but there's a decent amount of them. And, and the fact that they pull yeah. off the Knights so well, I think they're they're great. You know, they they feel pretty well scaled. They got that huge, you know, like, base body with the tiny little legs yeah. and tiny little arms and, um, yeah. and the watcher that pops out the back. But they did a battle wagon, which are the ones that have, like, the flames popping yeah. out of their back. And um, this one is from the Lights and Sounds, um, yep. the the gunship, right? The Pelican gunship. Yeah. And so it actually does have a little button in the back. Or I think you maybe you knock it. I think you knock it and then it lights up a little bit. And it's got the face that opens up and everything. Yeah. Well, I think, I think the face is already just it's like, Yeah, priest. Yeah, the face yeah. is molded with each of the little plates sticking out. And it's got yeah. the skull in the middle. Yeah, so that thing, that thing's just rad, right? Like super cool, yeah. um, and it, it is pretty rare too. I'd imagine. I mean, I'm, it's yeah, really the yeah. only one that they've done. They've done knights, but they've only done one battle wagon, and um, I think they pulled it off really well. Yeah, um, I solid think it, pick. Yeah, it's it's cool. You can like inter swap that headpiece as well. So obviously, the knights mm-hmm. in the game, it doesn't matter what rank they are. They all kind of do that thing where their skull comes out when they're angry. Um, mm-hmm. So I like it. You can take that piece off and swap it between the other knights as well to sort of add some uh, dynamicism to all of them. I think that's cool. Yeah, yeah. I'm not. I'm not sure if anybody has done it, but I would love to see somebody implement that piece specifically into like a stop motion. Yeah. I feel like that would be Matt, amazing. If you watch, we it. should get on Matt. <laughs> hey Matt. <laughs> yeah. I'll send you a battle wagon if you make me. He's cursing us right now. We're awesome. setting expectations. That'd be amazing. <laughs> That's a solid first pick. I like that figure a lot. I know I hunted that one down for a long time because when I was like 12, I couldn't buy myself a Pelican. So it right. wasn't until a couple of years ago I could actually afford just the You didn't from, have a uh, disposable income at 12 years old? What? Unfortunately not. They're out there. I mean, you could probably get lucky in a random lot too, perhaps, and just one will yeah. pop in there. But because some people just won't know, won't know what they have. Um, yeah. But And I haven't checked eBay and, and to see what that... I just, like. I, I wish I, that Mega would... Sorry, go ahead. Oh, I was just gonna say I, I got I wanted the drop sh- or the gunship specifically, and then he was like a, a part of that, and you know, I realized how cool he was as part of the set. Yeah. I just wish they would have made more 
they yeah, that yeah. it seems like they made like a lot of the lancer which is the one that's right. got all the, yeah. the spikes mm -hmm. they made that one like four or five times and they I only ever made one battle wagon. in the battle pack the, the fact that the lancer yeah. came in the battle pack over the normal night still blows my mind yeah that was very confusing times but yeah <laughs> so be it tom Hi. so we've so we've got promethean knight battle wagon for colin what's yours what's your what's your first um i'm gonna go with the spartan cqc from series seven of the halo heroes um, okay just because i think that the two-tone colors they chose for that cqc are really nice i think it's yeah. got some little paint applications on the armor as well um mm -hmm. and it's also the cqc armor which they hadn't made before that point and it looks really really crisp i really like how that armor came out okay. And to top it all off, you get a painted concussion rifle. So, what's not mm. to love? That's yep. true. That's actually one of the only, like, heroes figures that I have, like, copious amounts of. I think yeah. I have, like, five or six of those CQC <laughs> figures. Because oh, it's really? a great... It's it's great. It looks so yeah. smooth and clean. That's a really nice one. I like so that a lot. Makes, what makes the great heroes Spartans? There's a lot of these heroes generic Spartans. There's a lot of yeah. the named ones, and then there's a lot of generic ones. And then there's like, from my perspective, again, it's like subjective. Like, do you like that style of armor? And then do you also like the paint job, right? Yeah. Um, and it probably has to be some some sort of like a happy um, medium between the two. I can, mm. uh, do, you, uh, do you want me to jump in first? Yeah, though? yeah. Um, yeah. So for me, because I'm more of a campaign person than a multiplayer person, it's a Spartan that looks like it could be at home in the campaign as well. So those yeah. like more muted colors, um, like grays, greens, colors that you would expect to see on Spartans in the game. Um, and then also a big factor for me actually is the weapon choice. And if it's a weapon yeah. where maybe we don't get a painted version of that that often, so it's quite desirable to add that to the collection as well from the sort of photography standpoint of having more painted weapons. That makes sense. Cool. I think, um... I mean, to me, I would like for the heroes to have more um, more armor that's not so widely available in, like, like armor packs or battle packs or things. Like, I feel like if the heroes are supposed to be, like, specialty figures, they should have, like, special armor. Yeah. Um, the paint app, really I mean... The, yeah, seriously, get up, please. Um, this, the paint apps is probably my favorite part, like the yeah. series nine um soldier spartan spartan the white one with all the red stripes on him and yeah. the beam rifle alpha like mm -hmm. that's gorgeous oh my god i love it yeah the cqc it is it is really nice though i do like the natural the natural colors like browns <laughs> and greens everything like you said but that's a i like it that's a good pick i think they've it, only made they did a blue cqc the brown one and a green one right yeah. Was, was there one in the 10th anymore. anniversary? Was there a CQC in there? No. Nope. Forget. Um, I was going to just say the so, sometimes, so like the best figure, because you mentioned the soldier one, I feel like it's not always the one that is gobbled up either in, on, on shelf. So I feel like I saw soldiers like in boxes when I was collecting. Oh, yeah. um, even though like like you, you commented on it, you said that that was a nice one, but it of the heroes that are out six and now five um there's always one or two that are left in the box right and that may be yeah. a really nice figure it's just not the most well-known figure from a mm -hmm. you know a halo fan standpoint true yeah <sighs> okay i got my first one ready this is a good one to me the 10th <laughs> The Halo Heroes Series 10, the anniversary, the, I think it was the Mega's Anniversary Series rookie figure. Yeah. Rookie. Yes. Good. Yes. Golden. I've got a couple reasons for this. Because that, that rookie figure was the second iteration they did of him. The first one came in the UNSC Wombat drone from like 2014, 2015. Yep. But yep. this one, it had like four different colors of gray, it came with a backpack. It came with, like, on the chest, on the left side of the chest, was a printed uh, Eagle Globe and em Eagle Globe and Anchor. Yeah. Eagle Globe yeah. and Anchor emblem 
and um, obviously it came with a golden SMG, but if you replace it with a black SMG, that ODST figure literally looks like it's straight out of the game. Like, it's yeah, just yeah. one of their most... I don't know if realistic is the right word, but like it just something about it just calls out to me. It's such a pretty looking figure. Yeah. I and am. I mean, it doesn't even say like rookie anywhere on his armor. So you could just use them as generic ODSTs. Really? True. That's a great yeah. army builder. Yeah, I think I think it sets an interesting precedent for um, Alpha 9 going forward as well. Because up until that point, they'd all been done with the white forearms and thigh armor, as you say. Yeah. But now he was done with that gunmetal color. Uh, and that gunmetal color is the same color it's used on Mickey in the 20th anniversary pack as well. So I have a feeling mm. we'll be getting new releases of the rest of Alpha 9 down the line as well Gotta to match up to that. A resurgence of them, huh? I yeah. hope. I really hope. I just got a commission and somebody sent me the dare and the Mickey from the anniversary pack and they are so packed with detail. They look amazing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And when you think about it, I mean, all of the original Alpha 9 members are super hard to find now. Not, e yeah. not even just Mickey. Like, Heroes 1, Buck, Mickey's with the yeah. Pelican, Dutch is right. at like 4 pack. Like they're, they're... Plus, this time around, they could have interchange with the head sculpts. Yeah, give them all give them all unhelmeted versions. There you go. Yeah, yeah, that'd be cool actually. That would be nice. I, I would dig it. There you mm -hmm. go. I'm I'm right here. Colin. Just coach me anytime. <laughs> there you go. All right, Colin. What is your second choice? For uh, five. Hmm. Who else do I want to mention here? I have, I have a list. Um, I'll go with the. Uh, I'm going to go with my second big one. Uh, I'll get them both out. So I'll go with the Pelican Inbound Hunter. Yeah. The, so choice. the most recent Pelican, the super articulated Hunter, and just that that crisp paint job on top of her, right? Yeah. I, I love it. Um, you know, it's not it's not over it's over the top like the Remnant Hunter was is nice, but it's like too red. And this one yeah. is is a better I don't know um, balance between the, the silver, the gray, and the red. So I really like the, the paint mm. applications of that one. Um, yeah, yeah, and just, just the, the super articulated, the new hunters are just leaps and bounds of, of the, the old ones. So I'm a, I'm a big fan of that, and I'm glad that they gave us that into um, a really huge set and really nice set overall. Yeah. Was that Another the, problem the, the is first I just time... want to. Oh, yeah, <laughs> <Right>. yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, was that the first time we got the fuel rod pieces in red as well? Because I don't think they were red in the Remnant Hunter, were they? Oh, those little things that stick out the side. Yeah. Um, no, I think they were green in the Remnant Hunter. Mm -hmm. I want to say. Yeah. Every hunter had green ones except for the one that came in the wasp. Those were blue. Yeah. For the Elder Hunter. Mm hmm. I almost yeah. mentioned the Elder I think Hunter. That, that was... one was nice too, but I feel like. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Like you got a uh, you got a second pick, Tom. You were, no, I only picked one. That was it. <laughs> that Thank was it. I'm done for the win. Um, so my second pick is, and I'm just bringing a picture up of it to check what it's referred to as. So on the Mega Constructs website, it's referred to as the Oni Technician from the Oni Strike Team pack. Um. So. Oh yeah, I know what you're talking yeah. about. Yeah. One of my favorite missions of all time in Halo is the Halo 4 mission um, that I can't even remember the name. <laughs> Must be your oh, favorite. Uh, the one, I wanted to say Midnight, but I don't think it is because, wait, that is or is the final mission Shutdown and then is that Midnight? It might no, be Midnight. No, Shutdown's in the middle. Midnight's the end. Midnight uh, okay. is the one you're thinking. Well, this is the mission before Midnight on Ivanov Station. Um, yes, yeah, that's it. There we go. I just love how the Oni Marines look, so I really like the Halo 4 Marine design. And I think in darker colors, they look really awesome. Um, and this is like the only time we've ever really got a proper version of that in super articulated form. Because um, there was one in the Echo Blind Bag series, but it wasn't really spot on. Whereas this one, you've got like paint on the shoulders, 
you've got the grey helmet paint and then also little white highlights on the side of the helmet attachment. Yeah. Um, just loads of detail packed in for a marine and I think it looks really, really good in those darker colours. So much so that I have four of the only strike team pack. Wow. Really? Yeah. I have one. Yeah. Interesting. That's, That's cool. Insane. I love it. I like it. I, it makes me sad that that not enough people are fans of the Halo 4 Marine design. Yeah. Like, I think that, fi- I mean, that figure specifically is great, but I think Halo 4 Marines look awesome, especially yeah. the only ones. Because um, I think, wasn't that same Marine you're talking about, wasn't there a non articulated version released before? Or was that yeah. the green one? Oh, I can tell you a really fun story about this game. Thank you very much. Well, um, so, the, that one came in one of the old armory packs. So the only mm. armory pack that's ever come with a painted spanker. And um, that armory pack, the core production run was grey um, with dark black highlights. But there was an error production run that was very, very hard to find where you would get just a Halo 4 Marine that was all black with no highlights on it whatsoever. Oh. And uh, apart from the face and the goggles. And I managed to get three of that pack back in the day so i had three just all black halo 4 marines that looked really awesome that's cool yeah yeah that sounds like it would be awesome the the, the halo 4 ones are the ones that mac matt says they're wearing hockey badges right they're like yeah yeah (laughs) (laughs) yeah those are the ones i don't know i like them oh my uh my second my second one of my one of my favorite figures Mega has ever done is actually probably going to surprise a lot of people. It's the original Brute Chieftain. Yeah, oh. I can see it. Yeah. Is that the one that was in the um, the like, special weapon, what do they call it? Like the Chopper? That one? Yeah. Yeah. It came in the second Chopper they ever did as well as a four-pack where it was in gray and blue and yeah. then it came in the NMPD Pelican where it had a nice fade on the helmet. I'd say, like, if you looked at the paint apps, everybody would probably pick the NMPD one over the red and gray one. But Mm -hmm. just because, like, of how classic that red and gray Brute Chieftain is, he's, like, one of my favorite figures ever. I had, I think at one point, I had, like, six of those. Because I kept, (laughs) I would trade people. I just loved it so much. And I'm so sad that we got articulated Brute Majors and Miners and Captains, but we never got a Chieftain. Uh... And Mega has given us... A Halo Infinite version of the Brute Chieftain, but like, I would, I would do so many things if I could have an articulated Halo Three Brute Chieftain. I think they're so cool. Yeah. And so even it even apart. as an original figure. Sorry, what sets it go, apart go from the uh, from the new ones that we have? Like just the style, like the Halo Three style. Well, in my eyes, the new Chieftain is really just a new helmet, a new chest. The shoulders, yeah. the forearms, the legs, the everything else is just a regular banished brute. But mm-hmm. for the Halo 3 Chieftain, the original articulation one, every single piece is like a Halo 3 brute Chieftain. Like gotcha. It's got the thighs, lower legs, the wrist, the shield on the arm, the shoulders, the chest, the helmet. Like yeah. The whole thing is, is game accurate as it could be at that time period. And then, mm-hmm. I mean, comes with a gravity hammer. And surprisingly... At least in my experience, its articulation is a lot better than you would think. Yeah. Because it has one of those rubber, um, what would you call that? Like a. It's a loincloth. Yeah, like a loincloth, yeah. that decorative loincloth. It mm-hmm. has one of those and it allows for really good leg articulation. Mm. I've seen people do amazing things with that. Cool. I am. Um, yeah, that's. I, love it. I've been sat very perked up while you were saying that because I literally got one yeah. the other day. The NMPD Cruiser has a visor mode version of it, so it's one of the few mm-hmm. figures they've done in visor yeah. mode as well. Um, and I never noticed in Halo 3 that the Brute Chieftains have a shield on one of their forearms. So when I was looking at that figure, I was so confused. I was like, is this a deformity on this figure? Why is there like a little pad on it? Have they put a shoulder pad on the forearm? And it caused me to you... go back and reassess my whole knowledge of Chieftains in the game. You didn't know that Halo 3 Brute Chieftains had a sh- nope. had a big shield on their left arm. What? I never noticed it, because I always kill them too quickly. <laughs> wow. 
big uh big halo pro guy over here okay well yeah anyway so i'm gonna give it back to uh colin who might right. know what he's talking about so what's what's your number three <laughs> hmm should we stay on the brute train we might as well i'll give it to my boy my boy the atriox atriox was he series three i believe yeah um yeah, yeah. just happened to have a little atriox that was one of the first figures that i sought out because i'm a big fan of him and the banish in general and uh i, I think they did, they did a great job they've done three now so they did the original Heroes mm -hmm. version, they did the Gummy version uh, in the Blind Bag the series, the red one. And then yeah. they we did use a, a gold one in the 20th anniversary character pack. But the original one has, you know, good paint apps. It looks like Atriox, you know, from a, you know, structurally. Um, and yeah, his, his paint job, I think, is, is solid as well. So overall, great representation of Atriox, the character. It does bring up the question that we've talked about in the past of like, I do wish Brutes were just a little bit bigger so that they could tower yeah. over Spartans the way that they, they do in uh, in universe. But, you know, we always call back to our conversation with Kevin to say, well, you know, if someone wanted to pop Etriox and Chief in a Warthog, they could do that if he was a giant, you know, they yeah. just would, yeah. would work. So, and I, and I buy that because they, they did make big, bigger Destiny Cabal figures, those bigger dudes. Um, but th that was a different line and, and all that sort of thing. So, yeah. um, I, I'm happy with how they, how they represent Atriox. I think, I think he's a great figure. So I, I, at one point, this is a random story, but, um, I think on Shop Goodwill, like 50 of them showed up, like on, <laughs> like somebody must have had a whole bunch of them and put them on, uh, you gave them to the Goodwill and somebody snagged them for, you know, a bunch of dollars. And then of course they showed oh, up gosh. on eBay soon after that. But, I'm um, surprised you didn't buy them. I thought about it. Thought hard. I would have hopped on that. Wow. Price tag got kind of high. But um, yeah. So um, I'm, I'm happy with with Atriox. He's good. And I got. I don't know if you can see. There's another. There's a big Atriox, a 12 inch way back there. Oh, is that the metal one? Yeah. 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 I'm so jealous no, of that. Group. I want that in Arbiter so bad. Oh right. Yeah. I don't that think I saw that. Arbiter is so rare. I know. I've never seen yeah. one in person. I don't know anybody that has one. You're there the only a, other person I know that has that Atriox. Oh my gosh. There was a Kmart that was closing near me uh, a couple years ago, and they had a ton of those things. I just grabbed the one. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. I, I would say one of my favorite parts about the Atriox figure or Ooh. figures is the chain breaker, his little yeah, mace. It's unique. That's yeah. such a detailed, unique piece. And I'm very impressed with Mega for actually making it. Like, of, co yeah. of course, it's his signature thing, but like, they made it really well. It yeah. looks amazing. Um, I find it. Yeah. I, I was going to say I find it really interesting how the budget allocations must have worked with that because obviously he was at the time the primary character in Halo Wars Two, the primary antagonist. Mm -hmm. So I imagine his figure got more budget, which is interesting when you then look at um, Tartarus, who they've always decided to give a gravity hammer instead of the gavel. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a fist of rocked. Yeah. I wonder about that. Mega, please. Yeah, just interesting tidbit I thought was worth mentioning. My only question is, is the chain breaker big enough? Like, it feels... The one that he... I has, think, maybe it is. It's probably a hard I thing think to scale, right? Like, you can make The it scale that Atriox is currently in MCX, it is. If he was any bigger, I would like it to be a little bit longer. Like with my, because I've made a custom Atriox that stands, um, I think it's three eighths of an inch taller than a Spartan. Mm -hmm. um, and I, I lengthened the chain breaker a little bit just so it fit okay. in his hand better. But yep. I think for the, I mean, for what they made, I think it fits fine. Plus, you compare it to the gravity hammer, and the gravity hammers are all huge, right? They're yeah, they're a yeah. giant thing, and then the chain breaker. But the chain breaker, I mean, it's good, like you said, it's well painted and good, yep. good representation. So I, I'd love. So, I sorry, I I don't want to drag this out too long, but I just I remember when I read um, Shadows of Reach, I had a mental mm. thought about that as well. Because it describes the brutes having like energy maces hanging from their belts in that, and I yeah. always interpreted that as maybe being similar to uh, the chain breaker. 
So yeah. it would be like practical enough to hang from a yeah, belt hang. as well. Sure. And it would be dragging on the ground. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Be cool. Well, what is your number three, Tom? Do you uh, have a well, group you could toss into the group? I don't, unfortunately, but Colin has been talking about series three, and it is Ooh. number three. And Ooh. I think it's worth mentioning the Elite Honor Guard at this mm, point. Yes. Um, of course. One of the most coveted figures still for, for super articulated collectors. Um, perfect color scheme with the additional paint applications for the Honor Guard highlights mm. and just a really, really solid sculpt. Um, yeah. Yeah. Mega have always done them well. They committed to making the actual um, ceremonial staff back in the non articulated line, and mm. that then carries over nicely here. Um, and I think it's just a great figure, so I'm really excited that we're getting the light of San Helios in 2022 using that yeah. spot as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think the, the Series Three Honor Guard was probably my that was my favorite figure for a really, really, really long time. Like that was yeah. it's definitely one. And of then the this little dude came out, and you were sold. Yeah, and then <laughs> everything else was in the garbage <laughs> pop trade all for i have i think i've got a total of like 20 honor guard like plates yeah from how oh. many i've just bought over the years because the thing is the thing is mega listen please mm -hmm. the <laughs> the honor guard mold the honor guard chest the back piece and even the thighs to an extent are the h2a model so if they would take the chest and the back piece and the lower legs from like the Halo Wars 2 Elites and put them on Artas, we would have a game accurate Artas figure and it's all I want. <laughs> and I've already done a custom like that. And it's the only thing I want them to do. <laughs> Gabe, Gabe, we need an intervention here. Let's turn off the cameras. We need to have a chat. <laughs> I need them to fix it. <laughs> Honor Guard is a really clean figure, though. I'm I'm excited for the Light of Sanghelios. Is it called in that series Light of Sanghelios, or is it just Honor Guard Ultra? It's Light of Sanghelios, mm -hmm. and it says really? it on the display stand. Getting on the lore, huh? I like it. Mm -hmm. Well, speaking of elites, I don't know how this wasn't my first, the first one that I said, but my all-time. Oh, I wonder who it could be after you just mentioned customizing a character. My no, 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 no. my all-time. <laughs> favorite Mega Constructs figure that they've ever done is the uh, Halo 5 Arbiter in his I Kaidan. Off. Is it? Off. So wait, is yeah. this the one that came with the uh, Hog? Goss Hog. Okay, the Goss Hog. It came yeah. with the Goss Hog and it came in the 2015 exclusive trio pack. Yeah. Is it the same? Exactly. And, and there's an active camo one in Echo series, I think. Or is that Fox That's Trot, Tom? Yeah, I think it's Echo because it's so bloody hard to find. Yeah, yeah. Um, the difference between the Goss Hog and the Trio Pack is yeah. the, the Trio Pack is more of a deep metallic gold. Yeah, it, it is. Um, yeah. The one in the Goss is like a really bright yellowy gold. Sure. Okay. But the moment I saw the mold, I remember watching a video of like 2015's um, New York Toy Fair. And I saw like the little Arbiter figure next to the Warthog and it, I just couldn't stop staring at it. I think mm -hmm. it is such, there's so many spines all down his neck going down to his yeah. back. There's some on the back, the, all of the, um, the layered plates on his thighs, his shoulders and his lower legs. Like he just looks so sharp, literally mm -hmm. and figuratively. Like he is such a clean looking figure. However, there's one extremely large gripe I have with this figure, specifically the one from the Goss Hog. The color that they use for his armor, that yellowy gold, must be like the most brittle thing that they have. Because I've customized maybe like four or five of those arbiters for people, and I've never ever been able to remove his chest piece without the, the pieces breaking. Oh, really? Like, oh, I've, I've had so many Arbiter figures break and crumble because the plastic they use to mold his armor in is so brittle. Or it was. Huh. Maybe maybe they've switched it. I'm but never like, removing the armor from my San Diego Comic Con exclusive now. 
don't. I I didn't from my from my SDCC one, but like the one from the Goss Hog, I I tried to paint it and I took the chest off and both of these parts here just snapped right in half. Oh no! So, while it's a really really cool figure and it's still in my top five, it's just so brittle. So like yeah. anyone out there, if you have this figure, please leave him alone. Don't touch him. Put him in a glass <laughs> box. Well, I feel like that one is fairly common too, right? That was that was the first set I grabbed back in 2015. I hadn't started collecting that, um, but I was like, "Oh, that's awesome! That's like Chief and Arbiter and yeah. a, a hog, yeah. right? Not the right hog, but it's Goss hog. It's fine um, in a cool color." And I feel like I've gotten a couple in random lots too. So I think that figure is, is out there. Again, I don't know what it is to to get second hand. Well, really, from the name. The rare one is the active camo version. Yeah, I don't know people that have that actually i have that one just, it's worth noting that echo series as a whole is really really rare and it's actually yeah. quite frustrating when you look at it because if i pull a picture up of it quickly um it is one of the well it's the only time we've ever got a red jump pack elite it's the only time i think we've got a bronze new style um Oh, no, it's not super articulated, but it's the bronze Halo 4 style Jackal. And then you've got like a bunch of fairly unique armors in there, like the Oceanic as yeah. well. It was an um, amazing series. And it just never popped up anywhere and went for really yeah. high prices on the aftermarket. Mm -hmm. That was when I started, that was kind of where I drew a line when I started collecting. Um, I wanted to get the heroes, obviously, everybody wants to get the heroes, but then I was like, well, should I get all the figures? But then when I started yeah. looking up the blind bags and on the second hand market and just the rarity is like, ah, I can't, that's too much. You know, I mean, I'm, you know, if you do it, great. And if that's, that's your thing, awesome. But it was, I couldn't justify it for like the blind bag figures that were originally like a buck or two, right? Off the mm -hmm. shelf. That's just a hard one to swallow. True. Only other thing besides the, the Arbiter's armor being brittle, I really wish we would have gotten an official Prophet's Bane. Yeah. The one that mm. came in the trio pack was an energy sword that was molded in clear, but painted um, a gold handle. And yeah. It had like old electricity Lelo. all over it. Lelo. Yeah. I don't, oh my Lelo. God. Lelo electricity <laughs> paint -outs. So that's And good. I really wish oh. we would have gotten like the official mold with the, the wavy yeah. blades. Yeah. Right. But, I mean, well, those guys in Mexico did one, didn't they? The people who did I do the have C some Magnum. Of those. Yeah. I have some of those, and they did a brilliant job on those 3D printed profits. Yes. Yeah. yeah. So I think that brings us to number four. Does this yep. be uh, number four for you, Colin? Yeah, I think it's back to me. Let's let you know. Let's just keep this Healy train going. And I know you already talked to Trash about Urtas, but Doom, but I mean, come on, he exists. He's there. He's <laughs> in the 20th anniversary <laughs> character pack. He has oh, two yeah. mandibles. The other two are there, but they're chopped off as they should be. Um, I, I think the fact that, that that's one of the characters that we've been wanting for a long time, and yeah. they gave them to us as a part of that pack is fantastic. And they gave him a, a solid treatment, right? Like a couple, a couple of tweaks to your point, um, Gabe, to make him, you know, as game accurate as possible. But you know, they did the thing with the helmet, and they did the thing with yeah. the face. And, um, you know, I think I do like his clean paint applications, too. I think that that's nice. Well, during the review, I, when I was looking through him, I mean, he's, he's a great mold, but, but his, his paint apps are simple. But when you look at it in game, too, like his paint, his, you know, coloration is fairly simple, too. So, yeah, it's pretty so cool. they didn't, like, they didn't feel the need to go over the top of that one, which is good. So Ertos, Shipmaster, he's a great figure. Oh, yeah. I think. I agree. He'd be even better if he came with the other two mandibles as an accessory you could put in his hand. Pull off. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> You're not like a magnet or something. <laughs> <laughs> that helmet piece is probably one of the best uh, elite designs Mega has done in a really long time. It looks mm -hmm. dead on, like it's perfect. I really like yeah. it. Yep. Tom, you're number four. What is it? Uh, I am going to go for, from the two-figure pack, uh, Halo 2 Super Articulated Master Chief. Ooh! Mm. Yeah. I, I think I like the, more, the more metallic green color, where it's got like the simulated battle damage, 
doesn't always work that well. I don't think it worked that well in the Infinite one, but I think it worked really well in that figure. Um, and it's just... I actually, do you know what? No, I have lied to you because I was thinking this through and that was my original choice because I was thinking I need a Master Chief on this list. And then my brain about 10 minutes ago went and then forgot, oh, what about the Halo 4 Master Chief in the Master mm. Chief collection pack? And that mm. is what I meant mm. to go for because that is the perfect Master Chief for capturing the colour of the Chief on the box art. Like the like grey green that they used for that Halo 4 Chief. Bloody incredible. It is Absolutely. honestly my favourite Master Chief figure to date. So sorry Halo 2 Chief, get in the bin. Because uh, we're going for Halo 4 Master Chief. Oh. I like it. That is an acceptable answer. I remember when I opened when I opened that set, I looked, I went straight for the Halo 4 Chief, and even the Halo 5 one's pretty good. But yeah. the contrast of that really bright, like orange gold visor Ooh. against his yeah. super dark armor looked immaculate, and his railgun. Yeah. The painted mm. railgun, like that whole that whole package was just amazing. That figure was awesome. That's definitely a good one. I, so I didn't think we were supposed to open that. Um, some of us may have five more than. It's back there, and I haven't opened it. Um, it's just, let's just. It's in there. Let's say, for photography reasons, some of us may say. have acquired more than one of them. I, I think say, in my uh, defense, I did do a review on it, Colin, so I need to did. get one that could be opened. One sealed, one open. I get it. Yeah. I was only able to get one. That was thanks to you, Matt. Shout out to Matt. Hooked me up with the one because I didn't get in that, uh, get lucky with the original release. But yeah, it's nice. The, all that whole, the whole collection is nice. Oh, number four. I can see the pain in your four. face every time you have to make This was hard for me to choose game. between. I was stuck between like three different figures, but I think I'm gonna actually end up, I'm gonna keep going with the Covenant style. Um, the Elite Warlord. Yeah. The, yeah. Re the, the yellow one, right? The, the, yeah. the most recent, the Elite Warlord from series 12? 13? 13, yeah. Yeah, 13. Definitely 13. Okay. Yeah. The series 13, the Halo Hero series 13 Elite Warlord. That, that's right up there next to Arbiter, the Halo 5 Arbiter, for like one of the best Covenant or like elite figures that Mega has ever done. I I have never gotten so quickly obsessed with a figure before. It has mm -hmm. a brand new helmet, new chest, new back, new shoulders. Even the legs, if they aren't new, the way that they're painted, they have black along the feet and on the yeah. back and on the front. Like everything on that figure, he's got little Covenant symbols on each side of his chest. He looks immaculate, mm. and I have seven of them. <laughs> oh my God. Wow! I went to a Walmart, and they had set out a fresh box. Oh! And I didn't take every one of them, but I did take a few <laughs> because it's just such a good figure. Like, yeah. it it kind of looks like a mix between a Halo Four Elite Warrior mixed with like a yeah. Halo Reach General. And it's, it's just beautiful. I have nothing else to say. It's one of my favorite figures, and it is gladly my top five. I remember the show when you were talking about you had found them, found them yeah. or whatever, because you were the first one to have yeah. those in hand, and you were like, you were just glowing about that thing. I was so happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah you had exactly. the client send them to you, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I had one guy from California ship me two of them. Yeah. And then it was like a few weeks after that, I found some here in Virginia and I was like, ooh, score. Yeah. I hope Mega does them again. They've done the Ultra quite a lot now. And yeah. they've done the Combat Elite all over the place, but they've the only done... Feels very popular now as well. Yeah, they've only done one of the, War uh, the Warlord elites, and that's in that Hero series. So I I'm hope actually, we see more of him, like a lot. I'm actually curious. I feel like Series 13 might still show up on shelf at some point because I'm still going to my Target, and there's still a, like an empty box of 12 that's sitting there. Um, oh. I've seen 13s in store. I've seen 14s in store. But then every once in a while, like a box of 12 shows up. So I wonder if we will get one more round of 13 and then 14 before we go on to 15. We'll see. I wouldn't mind. I, I never saw. Bigger choices. Yeah. 
I never saw series 14 in stores. I don't own a single series 14 figure. Actually. Oh, you don't? They were there for a hot, hot second. I got mine off of Amazon. There's a bundle on Amazon. To buy yeah. them all. I'll have to do some eBay hunting or something. But I think this takes us to number five. Your, your fifth and final figure, Colin. Number five. I have two. Do I have to pick one? <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Uh, I I pick one to do an It's called mention. five, not six. <clears throat> All right. You do an uh, okay. Well, so I have to stay true to my favorite characters. So I'm gonna stay true to my favorite characters, and I'll have an honorable mention to me, to talk about. Um, but Kelly from Blue Team. So we gave Blue Team mm. the best, the second best set in Halo Five, and I think so. Gabe, you said that there is a there's two versions of it, right? There's one where the paint at like the the wash, the silver wash or whatever it is, is a little right. heavy. I think that's the one I have. Um, but it's still, I, I was looking closer at it and, and the application, I mean, all the figures are great, but I, I like Kit Kelly, uh, the fa- you know, the fast Spartan, right? I, I like her. It's the British her accent, isn't it, Colin? I get it. She shouldn't have a British accent, just, you know, it shouldn't be more <laughs> than a weird thing. <laughs> well, because she was, you know, kidnapped when she was six and she was, Hanging out with so all the people. Are you, yeah, are you saying the British, 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 British people accent. aren't going to make it into space, Colin? Is that what you're saying? There was no <laughs> British person. Well, maybe there was. Anyway, it's weird that she has a British accent. Nobody else does. Anyway, um, she, she, I think she's great. Um, she's got her um, shotgun, which I'm forgetting the name of, too. And uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so overall, they did a really good job. That whole, the whole pack is cool. And you know, I got a, I got a special place for Kelly. So. Yeah, that'd, that'd be my my one of my top fives. This is definitely Kelly. I remember getting the the one from the firebase when she was just blue, mm-hmm. yeah. and I think the one in in actual blue team, she's got like the yellow pinstripes all over her armor, yeah, she doesn't she? Does. Yeah, that one that one's super clean. I like that. I wish they did that armor more often, actually. They always seem to replace um, the like arms and legs for the Hermes with like oceanic, mm-hmm. like those big mm-hmm. boxy chunky pieces. And I right. always hated that they did that because like the the whole Hermes armor set is a beautiful armor, but that Kelly is a super good figure. The shotgun especially, it's awesome. It has great yep. paint apps. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it took me a little while, um, and I already already held this one up. But the new one, her helmet is a little bit different in this, but it's just an updated version of that helmet that they have now so yeah it's it's close to like the halo legends uh looking one yeah i think it was on the cover of one of the books mm-hmm. tom your number five my number five is of course the grump the old no i'm kidding um it is which one do i want to go with okay so it's between two different variants of it I think, sorry, I've just noticed the spider on my desk. Um, I think that it is going to be the Series 6 version because of how widely available it was. And that is Captain Thomas Lasky, uh, the captain of the Infinity. Because <laughs> Lasky is one of my, if not my favourite, 343 era characters. Um, I really enjoyed Forward Unto Dawn and like how he kind of goes behind Del Rio's back in Halo 4 to have the Chiefs back, um, Mm -hmm. knowing that John is in fact the boy. And I just think that the Halo 4 officer design is really cool. I like how it's got almost like a Battlestar Galactica kind of vibe to it with the design Mm -hmm. for it. I think that like tack uniform that they've got for the vest and then him having the holster as well looks really cool. And obviously being in the Hero series, you could easily get multiple of them, scrub off the captain stripes on the side and have a bunch of different crew members for the Infinity. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Does he have paint apps underneath the, the chest piece? I didn't know. It's, it's just like, yeah. Okay. Yeah. One thing I will say, I wish, and Mega, if you're listening and you're preparing to do another Lasky, to take it to the next step, we've seen with figures like Linda now that you can print little circle lights so put the little blue lights in the back of his armor that he yeah. has in the game. That'd be clean. That'd be cool. What I was mm-hmm. what I was hoping was that 
because they're I'm pretty sure they're identical except for maybe like a bar or two but like Del Rio never got an official figure and he's yeah. literally Lasky but with a different face yeah, yeah like, I, really I would I, I would love to have another Lasky so that I could make um, a custom of that but I was a fool and I only ever got one series six Lasky mm. figure and I feel so dumb but you're right <laughs> it is a super good looking one yeah. I argue it's better looking than the Infinity version of Lasky. I I prefer the Infinity mm. one just because the colors are more authentic. I I think really? that yes, yeah, so in the Infinity he's dark gray, and in the Heroes he's like brown. I think it's like an olive yeah. brown. Yeah, yeah, I I think that's more due to the different lighting engine in Halo Five because I think it's meant um, to be the same uniform. Um. But one thing I will say, actually, is he doesn't have any paint for the tack pad on his wrist. And that's something mm. they've never done, because they've not done it with Carter. They've not done it with the upcoming figure of Locke from Nightfall. So I think if they're going to keep iterating their paint applications, then the next thing I'd like to see is paint apps for the tack pads. Just like, it doesn't need to be detailed, just a little bit of blue contrast yeah, colours so you get that it's a screen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I can get behind that. Yeah, they yeah. don't really have old faces yet, do they? They at least have done Halsey, but the cheese yeah. doesn't really look old. But like that, maybe that's holding them back from doing Del Rio. Just the how do you do a weathered Mike Brad yeah. figure, you know, at mass scale? Yeah, how do you how do you, I you mean, sculpt they, a crotchety old man? They did. <laughs> right. It's kind of hard. So they did Hunter <laughs> in the Call of Duty line, and they made him look a bit older by giving him like loads of wrinkles above his sunglasses. Uh -huh. um, so I might, if I'm feeling generous to our viewers, stitch a photo in here. If I'm not feeling generous, then I'll just delete me committing to that. Um, <laughs> but he's got quite a cool, slightly more aged design to him. Gotcha. Cool. But I think just in, in general, it would be nice to get more human heads. So th this yeah, is yeah. going down a tangent a little bit, but I was thinking the other day with the Marines, um, especially because in Infinite there are so many Marines present without their armor on, um, that it would be really cool to get more different human heads with hair underneath the helmets as well. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would like. I would like. Uh, well, we've always talked on this show about civilians, like how cool yeah. it would be to have civilian figures well, can... or like separatist figures. If I, I just knocked something off. Then let me find the one that's got the best example on it. It's not that one. It's this. So these figures from the Pro Builders Martian Rover. Yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I'll I'll try and get a close up photo of these. Again, being non committal, I'll delete this if I decide not to. Mm -hmm. Um but you can see there's actually hair around the head as well. I see that. And yeah. it's the same sculpt that they use for the infinite heads currently. So it is doable, so I'd like to just see them do it more. Cause even that works, because yeah. there's like there's paint inside the peg hole as well, so it just makes it a little bit more sightly to the eye, I find. Mm. Well, they've done female hair, right? Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, like for the guys, does. yeah, not so much. And female there's cash, actually. different versions of those already, so... Mm -hmm. Well, yes. and so I'll mention, my, well, maybe I'll just mention it now. This was an honorable mention I just wanted to talk about, is the, um, the AA gun marine. Yeah. It's the female... Um, and she's got oh, yeah. the ponytail and she's all decked out like that's yeah, a really nice she's marine cool. she's got yeah. she's got the backpack oh, she's got the the uh, thigh holsters all that sort of stuff like that is a great marine the great en encapsulation of the infinite marines is, is her yeah. i think she has probably the longer legs as before they shortened them but yeah, still we're all like that like they pack as much into that one marine um as possible so as i feel like a good shout out do you have a uh any honorable mentions, Tom, before I go on to my number five? Um, I didn't really think about honorable mentions. Um... Your Halo 2 Master Chief, perhaps? <laughs> <laughs> no, Screw Chief. He's in the bin, though. Um, Dang. if we're... Can, can I do two? Can I really yeah. push it after having a go at Colin for having one? <laughs> yeah, I, um, well, I, have, I have another one I want to mention, to be honest. Colin, Colin, go ahead. Do your second one, and then I'll do my two. I'll just mention it. Uh, so, Halo Heroes 9, George. Awesome figure. Yeah. Solid. I Huge. Just, Great I need to bring the mic in for a minute. George is dead. <laughs> Shout out to Aaron. Uh, <laughs> um, 
So I've got two. Um, the first one is going to be the Marine Sniper from Halo Infinite Wave 1, Heroes. Yeah. Absolutely love the camouflage work on that. And I would really love to see just normal Marines with camouflage BDUs at some point. Um, I think especially for, say, like if we get more Halo 3 Marines in the future, if they're going to redo the helmet for them, might as well redo the legs as well. Give us that beautiful tropical camouflage, that kind mm -hmm. of stuff. Um, just because it, it makes them feel even more grounded in reality, which I dig. And then um, my second honourable mention is going to be the NMPD Trooper, um, because I think it's so cool that when they did that NMPD subline, they went all in and just gave it all new moulds to the point that even the legs are like civilian legs, um, like yeah. dress trousers with shoes underneath. Um, and I think the helmet looks really cool. Um, and there's some really nice printing on the police vest for them with like the NMPD crest and the police text. So mm -hmm. yeah. I, I hope we get more of them in the Halo universe line at some point. That'd be cool. That's an underrated figure, I'd say. I, I kind of forgot yeah. about those guys. Those are really cool. I, I have like about that. like eight of them in a little cubby hole behind me because I just got the cruiser to go with them so I can have like a little NMPD squad. But all of my NMPD are sun bleached. So uh, they've got yeah. like varying degrees. Some of them have got like really nice grey armor. It looks proper, and then some of them have <laughs> got like really grotty looking brown armor now. <laughs> they got uh, reverse tanned. Huh. Right. Yeah. <laughs> um. Well, my my number five before I do any honorable mentions is actually because I have a long history with this figure. The Halo Three Mark Six, oh. like the like the basic like Master mm. Chief armor, mm -hmm. and it first appeared in a yellow and white customizer pack way back in like 2014. Yeah, and I think that I amassed over like 24 of them. Oh because God. those Whoa. were the figures that I used to make an entire red versus blue squad. I made oh. all of the reds, all of the blues, all of the freelancers. I made some of the separate, like, or the, the insurrectionists. Like, that figure helped boost my work so much. And I had been waiting for it for so long. I tried to sculpt a Halo 3 Mark VI one time, and I almost <laughs> cried. It was so hard. Oh, my goodness. Because... Because they're, they're like, that was an exaggeration. I didn't almost cry. <laughs> he cries they're, every they're like, it's such a specific look that like, you can try to do it yourself, but if you don't get it exactly right, it'll look wrong and you can tell. Yeah. So when they released that and I saw it, I just was, I was, my mind was blown. I was so happy. <laughs> and then of course they gave us chiefs afterwards and they did, they did multiplayer Spartans. But like having that, that new chest back the shoulders and the helmet that made my life so much easier but also like they just opened so many more possibilities for them and i think that's when they started to really ramp up like halo 3 armors because then they gave us recon and rogue and um i think they gave us security or just one of them they gave us another one but EOD. They gave us the the EOD yeah. which i would love oh i love the EOD i would so love much. for that to return but yeah, well, the, there the is Halo a Jazzwares figure of it. Mm, that's right. A Halo 3 EOD? Oh, no, I meant infinite. <laughs> oh, I was like, excuse me, sir? <laughs> when you said return, my brain instantly went return, current. He must no, be I, I, I literally infinite. mean like a Halo 3 <laughs> EOD. I would love for Mega to make another one of those because the green yeah. ones was gorgeous. But... It's a sexy figure. But yeah, the, the Halo 3 Mark VI is definitely my my fifth figure in my top five it was i love that mold so much but just like you guys did i do have a couple honorable mentions and the one was the eod because we've only seen it once and it's so good the the helmet looks really good and um i would love to see that again my second honorable mention is probably the new articulation jackal oh yeah i haven't seen haven't seen the um 
any of the new ones that Mega's coming out with next year, like uh, I think they're doing a sniper jackal in the mm-hmm. gun use. Yeah. Which I'm really excited for. But like the new the new articulated jackals, the molds, the smaller the, the head molds just yeah. looks perfect. They nailed it. The I think the current one we've got is the free beta. Yeah. Yep. And I've I mean that just looks amazing. Like when I think of Bungie era Jackal, like that's what comes to mind. It looks spot on. I think they did a really good job with that. Mm-hmm. And they're probably going to redo the skirmisher with that at some point, right? Because they literally just reintroduced that figure, and yeah. right before they made the jump to the like fin oh, right. body design. Mm-hmm. So I imagine they'll revisit that and implement that for that figure as well. Yep. I hope so. Oh my goodness! So uh, hold, on. Are... hold on, I have one more to mention. Just a oh, goofy well, if one. If we're doing that, I'll find another one. Just Let's a goofy on. one. Come on. I just want to mention the UNSC technician, the white one. Yes. From oh, the uh, right. cryo your armor base set. You're it's right. just because yeah. it's goofy, and you, we don't get many figures that are like non-combat figures, and he's yeah. one of them. Um, and I want like twenty of them, but I only have one or maybe two. Because um, yeah. that would be fun to do like a whole like setting where they're all kind of working on the ship or something like that, yeah. and then I think that would be good for for mods and uh, uh, diorama and stuff like that. Awesome. Honestly, my my like dream um, what what do they call them? Platoon pack would be a Halo Combat Evolved platoon pack with the Halo Combat Evolved chief as like the one Spartan figure, mm. and then have like three Combat Evolved Marines and two yeah. technicians. That'd be cool. Yeah. And like make it so like the Marines. Yeah. One of the Marines has got a bandana, one of them's got a boonie hat. It would just be so cool. Um I I am I am gonna very quickly off the back of that also shout out the UNSC officer that came with the forward unto dawn. Yes. Because um, that's another very cool, unique figure. I love that. Mm-hmm. I hunted for that figure four years. I think I threw mine away when they upgraded to super articulation. You did not. <laughs> I was like, oh, I won't oh, need it anymore. Blasphemy. Yeah. So anyway, uh, <laughs> so going back through our lists. Hey, what's up, guys? It is Matt Salvatore, and I thought I'd sneak in really quick because, you know, they wouldn't let me on the episode to talk about my top five figures if anything just to bring a little more sanity back to the conversation because you know tom's probably pulled out some new mumbasa police figure or some halo 4 hockey pad marine and you know that's just not going to stand so uh, i want to preface this uh my top five list with a couple of things first my top five does not include any of the halo 20th anniversary set why because i do not have a halo 20th anniversary set so it would kind of feel disingenuous to pick a figure that I don't have in hand and I think uh, having a figure in hand changes a lot perspective um, how you feel about the figure so uh, I don't ever want to give my full thoughts or pick them as my top five even though uh, Ratas looks absolutely amazing and all the figures in that set look great Um, I'm going to reserve that you know that spot to be on the top five uh, until I actually have the figures in hand. Uh, Next up, usually, and this is kind of a bad habit with me, is that my figures tend to be, my favorite figures tend to be my favorite characters in the game. So uh, my list is probably kind of generic um, because, you know, my favorite figures, in my opinion, have the coolest armor. uh, So when they get translated into figure form, I think seeing the level of detail that Mega has nailed actually kind of makes me like the figures even more. All right, I think I have everything out of the way. Oh, but before I do, I did really enjoy your guys' Halo 5 discussion. Uh, So it was hilarious that Gabe was arguing that the Infinity was just a shelf piece after I told him Forward Unto Dawn was just a shelf piece. (laughs) I found poetic justice or tragic irony out of it. Either way, all right, top five. So, my first figure to be number five on the list, which will be, this is, I guess, we're going in, you know, least a, least a favorite, least a, you know, least the greatest. Uh, number five is the Elite General. 
Uh, I love this figure. I think it's absolutely perfect. Um, I can't wait for Mega to come out with other colors, maybe like a little white and red. Um, but it is such a detailed figure. Uh, without a doubt, one of the coolest figures and Sang Healy that Mega has done. I think it's just the right amount of bulk. I think it's just the kind of, uh, I think the helmet that he's wearing is, it's amazing that it fits on his head. I think the level of detail that was added in this hero's figure is sublime. So uh, I can't wait to see what Mega does more with this mold, added colors. Like, you know, I like the yellow or the gold, I guess, if, you know, if you want to get technical. Uh, but I would really like to see some other colors that Mega could throw at us. So this guy, number five, well done, uh, Mega on that one. I really like this guy. Next up, see this gets into my kind of point about it's my favorite characters. They're just translated figures. So uh, Emil, um, this is the Halo Heroes uh, Emil. Um, so I have to say, they have continued to step up their game every time with Emil. Now. Uh, we do get an Emil in the 20th anniversary set, so that might be even better, but as of right now, I'm going with the Heroes version. Uh, I love the splashes of red. I love what they did with the little leg decal right here. Uh, the scuffs and the scratches really kind of shows this Spartan has gone through uh, a lot of uh, a lot of battles. Um, I think the face skull continues to get better. The original one that came out, the Mongoose, was very hard to see. Um, I think they've really kind of honed in on how to make that look absolutely perfect. Uh, the level of detail on this figure, uh, it can't be matched. Uh, next, for number three, um, is the Halo Infinite Marine. Now, the Halo Infinite Marine is obviously, he's not a main character. He's more of a, a stand-in for all the Marines that are in Halo. Um, but this figure... The, the Halo Infinite figures for this Marine is perfect. And it's perfect in a lot of ways. I think let's start talking about the customization of this figure. Um, no other Halo figure, Marine or Spartan, really has this level of uh, add-on detail that you can give it um, and customization within it, you know? Uh, you can have different shoulder pads you can do the different faces i think i think having different faces is huge because when you're building an army you don't want everybody to look the same this isn't a clone army although clone armies are cool um you know it's nice that you can have a guy with a beard you can have a lady you know stuff like that i think that adds uh, a level of detail that really personalizes the marines or makes them feel more like individual characters and not just generic uh bots or whatever they are. Uh, I love that you can add the leg wrists and the, the like the, the leg straps and all the little add-on attachments. I love that Mega has made it so that the helmet can come off. I think that's a huge step in making this figure amazing. Another really cool little tidbit about this figure is the leg, uh, the legs design. It was really kind of nice to hear, to see Mega respond in a, you know, it heard the community's complaints about how the legs were too long and they uh, fixed that. I think that's kind of neat. So it's it's nice to see that too. Um, I think the color's perfect. I love the color of the armor. Uh, the paint apps on this are great, especially if, you know, you get the, uh, the ones with the knee pads painted. I know Tom has difficulty with the non-painted knee pads. Um, you can also get sleeveless. So everyone take a drink for Tom because we have sleeveless Marines. Um, so the Halo Infinite Marine uh, is without a doubt one of my absolute favorite figures and I have so so many now because of that platoon pack and Mega knew what they were doing with that platoon pack. Next up is actually a new figure that I have. It's actually probably, yeah, my most recent figure pickup would be, uh, I was just able to grab the uh, Razorback which is a fantastic set, but in that uh, set comes with Kelly, our uh, Spartan Blue Team figure. Now, the thing about Kelly is this isn't her first appearance in Mega. Um, she's obviously in that really awesome Blue Team set, but I think this kind of goes more to my 
appreciation for the Halo Infinite design aesthetic where it, it feels Whereas I feel like Halo 5 was very smooth and curved, right? You know, the armor felt like it was, uh, it wasn't as, I don't want to use the word blocky, but it was, it was smoother and it felt more streamlined, sleek. Uh, whereas this kind of feels uh, sharper, a little more jagged and a little more bulkier. Um, I really love this helmet. I love how it has these little side portions that come out and show you that it's, it's not just like a completely open, canopy of, of helmet but it actually has like points coming out which is I think kind of cool I think it just adds more to the detail of the helmet instead of it just being just the just the visor portion the colors are great I think the the white is uh, is actually a better color than the blue um, and this is where I, I'll say like uh, figures like Fred that came in the brute chopper I think he's just too blue whereas I think the blue team set gave him a better blue so the blue for Fred in, in in the chopper set isn't isn't my favorite but I think they really nailed the white here with Kelly especially with these really nice gold flex on the side um, Kelly does not have her numbers um, there was a little bit of pushback on that I actually don't really care about the numbers to be honest in, in some respects I think it looks cool and in others I can also you know understand the argument that it also kind of looks a little goofy uh, so Kelly, number two. Uh, last but not least, I mean, if you don't know, you don't know, but it's the Master Chief. Now, um, the cool, the craziest thing about the Master Chief is I don't think there's really ever been a bad Master Chief design. Um, I think all of them are perfect for the game that they've come out in, and uh, I think all of them have different things that are pushbacks and you know drawbacks and stuff like that but the the figure version of infinite master chief um i've stated before that my favorite version uh design for chief's armor is halo 4 uh design i think that is i don't think chiefs ever look better um but i do really love the infinite uh chief design i think it's a perfect blend of uh original you know trilogy halo with the newer stuff so I, I appreciate it for what it is but the figure of mega and why this is my favorite figure is because i think it encapsulates everything that you want to see from the design i think it has uh, especially because we've had so many um you're able to play with uh the colors a little bit and you're able to find the version that is perfect for you so in my hand is the pelican chief and I do like the, uh, I have him, I haven't opened him up, but I do like the um, Heroes Chief with, he comes with the, the Brute Weapon. He's in a Heroes pack. He's a darker green, and I like that. I appreciate that, that we're playing with the colors. But this one, the Infinite Chief that comes in the Pelican has, uh, it has a nice, I guess, Gabe, you would say, a dry brush. You know, it has a... A scuff gray so it looks like he's like a meal kind of gone through some stuff and actually look like someone who's been flown ejected from a ring and floating in space and bumping into stuff um, I think the visor on infinite chief and maybe some vary but I for the most part consistency wise I think the visor on chief has never been nailed as good as it is here um, if you look at previous iterations of Chief, there's always like this like notch like of like where the visor is supposed to be and there's like this black or like gray part of the helmet that it doesn't have his full visor so it always kind of bugged me. You can kind of see that with the uh, Master Chief that came with Infinity. He's got like, his, it's not the full visor. So I appreciate that the visor is full here and I'm, I'm like I said paint apps vary so you might have a, a master chief that's like got the notches but for the majority of the chiefs that I've got uh, the paint on the on the uh, helmet is actually pretty great uh, next up I just want to really want to touch on the grooves of the armor uh, in previous ones you can kind of you, you can see that there are like grooves in the armor but I think with the infinite chief it really doesn't feel like it's smoothed over like the grooves are grooves and they don't feel like there are grooves that have just been kind of like very lightly put in there so I like that there it gives the armor um, 
a bit more variation and not just like, oh, there it is, a smooth leg or something like that. Um, I think the Chief is probably one of the first Chiefs that really can shoulder his weapon. Uh, I think it has something to do with the armor plate being a little thinner up here uh, and maybe the, the shoulder pads or something like that. Um, so, like I said, the, my favorite version of Chief is probably Halo 4, but I think this figure... In, in my opinion, encapsulates everything that I want to see out of a figure that is showing my favorite character. Um, and I think this figure, something about it just gets me, every time I see it, it gets me hyped for Halo, you know? I can't wait for campaign. Um, so, that's my top five list. I did want to give an honorable mention. Um, again, we're going back to my favorite character, the Master Chief. Um, the Halo Heroes Anniversary Series 10, where they think they did the 10 for 10. You guys might have to correct me on that one, but it's the one that came with like the Didact and all the gold weapons. Um, the Halo CE Master Chief. Uh, I don't think uh, there has been a CE version of Master Chief that is better. I think, again, with like my compliments to Infinite Chief, I think the visor was nailed perfectly. I think the colors are good. Um, we did get a previous chief in the Heroes line that looked like he had, like, beat a Sanghealy and, like, the blood was all over, all splattered on him because he was all blue. Uh, so, I want to give it an honorable mention to that Master Chief. Uh, but that is my top five list. Uh, thank you guys for letting me sneak on here and just kind of give you my top five to bring a little more sanity back to the conversation. Tom, I'm looking at you. <laughs> Uh, as always, Evolved. I have Halo 5 Arbiter, the original Brute Chieftain, the Elite Warlord, the Halo 3 Mark VI, and the 10th Anniversary Series Rookie Figure. Mm -hmm. yep. Colin, what are your top five? Uh, different order, but um, I had said Atriox, the Promethean Knight Battle Wagon, Urtas the Doom, the Pelican Inbound Hunter, and Kelly, Luffy. And Tom, what about you? Where you just to list them off? Mr. Chief, Mrs. Chief, Miss Chief, Master Chief, um, oh. and oh. Grandfather Chief. Master Chief. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Grandmother so, Chief. Um, Halo 4 only technician, Series 3 Elite Honor Guard, Spartan CQC from Series 7, Captain Thomas Lasky from Series 6, and the Halo 4 Master Chief from the Master Chief Collection. Absolutely amazing lineup. Mm -hmm. Oh, well, before we finish up with the show, I think we have a few uh, community shout outs that we actually would like to do. And I've I've got two that I'll start us off with because they're super cool people. And I really think you should go check them out. The first one uh, on Instagram is sassy.crocodile, who he, he helped me a lot, but he's done this thing where he's made... Um, like the custom base bodies for Halo 3 Brutes. Yeah. He extended the lower legs, the torso, the arms, the neck and the head. He like custom sculpted the whole face. Wow. And that's what I used for my custom Halo 3, um, my Brute Major. And he cast molds all of them. And he's an amazing guy. He's UK based. He's super humble, super talented. Um, uh, he's also done a bunch of elite head molds where they're like Halo 3, Halo 2 style elite faces. I don't know how he yeah, sculpts such tiny cool. stuff, but they're they're amazing. And my second community shout out is underscore Durdrick underscore customs underscore on Instagram. And he sculpted a Halo Reach Elite Ranger. That's and cool. I'll I'll put a picture in here so we can put it in the video because it's literally the cleanest looking custom figure. I have ever seen. Like, I hope if I make an Elite Ranger, it looks like his. He did an amazing job. Um, it's got custom, like, a chest, helmet, shoulders, thighs. Everything about it is amazing. So definitely go check those two people out uh, if you have Instagram. Either one of you, do you have any any community folks? Go ahead, Tom. Cool. Um, first thing I was going to say is Sassy, since you're UK-based. If you happen to be in the southeast, then drop me a DM at Tom underscore Jurassic and let's hang out and maybe work on some content so we can share your customs with more people. Yeah. That would be fun. Great. Um, secondly, 
I want to shout out so Sam Rise, I think that's right. Um, if not, I'm going to get absolutely obliterated in the Discord for not saying it properly, but we're going to go with it anyway. Oh, nice. um, highlighted Nick Brick's Lego Halo Magnum to us um, and some of the other guns he's done as well with their custom reloads. Um, oh, yeah. Nick, Nick Brick in general does an insane amount of in-game and like video game gun builds. So I know I've mm. watched a lot of stuff he did from Black Ops 2 when that was out. He did like the hammer... Um, the FAL, all of that kind of stuff. So really, really cool YouTuber. If you're a little bit into your weapons and you want to see some Lego weapons, um, yeah, that was not where I saw this conversation going, but there we go. I went with it anyway. If you like your guns, go and watch Nick Brick. Yeah. Uh, I will go with, I'll go with two. And uh, I played Halo Infinite with Eggsy, who does stuff yeah. animation. Oh, yeah. And I just want to shout out Eggsy. That's awesome. I'm glad you're part of the community and keep it up. I haven't seen stuff from him lately, but um, hopefully he puts more stuff out there. And then also on stop motion front is I want to shout out Matt, our very own Matt Salvatore, because I think he's working on a new series yeah. for Infinite. And I think it's going to be cool. Hopefully we'll be getting him back on some episodes at some point too as well. It's just yeah. all of our... Our time zones have changed. Clocks have gone forwards and back, and it's hard to work schedules. And, yeah. Yeah. yeah, yeah, we're working Start on that. Start to sometimes. Yeah, for sure. <sighs> well, I think that will do it for our show. Thank you so much for tuning in to another episode of Build with Blocks. If you like the show, feel free to support us uh, at Podcast Evolve on Patreon. Until next time, evolved. Evolved. Mr. Chief is actually the best figure mega constructs I've ever made. Okay, thanks. Bye, evolved.